top 10 incredible machines that make electricity. Number 10. Body Heat If you travel on the subway anywhere in the world, it's virtually impossible to avoid the uncomfortable heat that's created by so many people crammed into a confined space. But some stations have begun to use this to their advantage. One of the most efficient ways to do this is installed in Stockholm's central station, where heat exchangers in the ventilation systems absorb excess heat and use it to warm water. This can be used in a variety of ways. It can help to generate electricity or simply be pumped to nearby buildings to help warm them up in place of traditional heating methods. Since the technology began operation, one of the nearby office blocks has reduced its energy consumption by at least 25% and it's made such an impact that buildings around the world that have a large number of visitors are looking at finding their own ways to utilize this excess warmth. Number 9. Road Ramps In an attempt to curb speeding in residential areas, speed bumps are a common sight on roads around the world. In most cases, they're simply a hurdle made from concrete, but an inventor from Dorset in the UK saw an opportunity to harness some of the energy involved when a car drives over one. Known as an electrokinetic road ramp, it contains plates that are moved by the pressures exerted by a car passing over, and these, in turn, are connected to a generator. According to its inventor, the ramps are silent and as comfortable for cars as any other type of ramp, and depending on the weight of the vehicle passing, it can generate between 5 and 50 kilowatts. Targeted installation of these devices could power traffic signals and road signs, meaning they'd no longer need to be connected to a power grid and potentially saving a large amount of energy as a result. Number 8. Whirlpool Turbine Usually, the generation of electricity from water requires a large infrastructure, such as a dam and massive turbines but a recent invention has opened up the possibility of creating power from small streams and rivers, so long as there's a constant supply of flowing water. Known as a whirlpool turbine, the design is fairly simple. A concrete basin is built to the side of a river, which contains a generator and an impeller. Part of the river wall is then raised so some of the water flows into the basin, and this spins in the impeller and, therefore, creates electricity. Each one can generate up to 100 kilowatts and has a lifespan of up to 100 years. Furthermore, they have been designed to have no negative effects on the ecosystem, and fish can even swim through the impeller itself without coming to any harm. A network of these installed along rivers and streams could completely change the way energy is produced, especially in rural areas. So far, there are a number that have been installed in Belgium and one in Chile and it seems only a matter of time until they'll be seen elsewhere, too. Number 7. Push to Charge Cell Phone We're so used to our cell phones featuring touchscreens, but a new invention could mean that some designs revert to traditional buttons. It might seem like a backward step, but what if this meant that you would never have to charge your phone in a wall socket ever again? The push-to-charge system uses an effect called piezoelectricity. The basic principle behind this is that some metals, crystals, and ceramics can be used to create an electric potential. By using the buttons of a phone or computer as a hammer that hits down on a crystal, a small electric charge can be created and then stored. If you think of the number of times you press a button to write a message, for example, this could generate enough of a charge to continually run your phone without the need for external power source. With an average phone using about 0.144 kilowatts a day, this device could save more than 52 kilowatts a year per phone. And with an estimated 3.3 billion smartphone users in the world, this represents a potentially huge saving if it were to be implemented on a mass scale. Number 6. Gym Equipment Have you ever walked past a gym and seen countless people furiously cycling away on bikes Wondering if there was a way to harness all of that energy? Well, you're not the only one, because a number of venues have begun to install generators into fitness machines such as cycles, treadmills, and crossfits. It's now become such a popular thing that companies are selling kits to retrofit devices to enable them to generate electricity, and they offer some undeniable advantages. First is that they can be used to power the lights and entertainment systems at the facilities or at least reduce the amount of external power that's needed to keep these running. 
The second benefit is that gyms with this technology can promote themselves as being more environmentally friendly, which, in the current climate, is massively appealing. Of course, right now, the amount of electricity generated by a single bicycle is limited. A reasonably fit person could produce up to 150 watts in an hour, which is about enough to power a TV for one hour. But as demand increases, it's likely that these methods for energy generation will become much more efficient. Number 5. Socket Soccer is the most popular sport worldwide, and the simplicity of the game means that it's played in some of the poorest communities on Earth. One startup, called Uncharted Play, realized this and saw this as an opportunity to give these areas access to electricity by incorporating a generator into the ball itself. The result was the socket, a soccer ball that's only an ounce heavier than standard ones but with the ability to produce three hours of power for a light after one hour of play. This led on to the design for a second product, a skip rope with a generator inside, with the aim that access to electricity doesn't have to be dependent on living in a more fortunate community. Due to production issues, both of the products are no longer produced, but the technology remains and is being incorporated into other ideas, which have the potential to transform thousands of people's lives. Number 4. Urine Generator In 2012, a team of schoolgirls in Nigeria created a machine to generate electricity from a material that we all have access to, urine. They designed it as a part of a school project, and their device was able to create six hours of electricity from one liter of urine. The liquid is put into an electrolytic cell where electricity is used to separate the hydrogen. This is then passed through a water filter to purify it and pushed into a gas cylinder. Next, it passes through a cylinder filled with liquid borax to remove the moisture, and the resulting pure hydrogen is pushed into a generator to create electricity. While urine isn't the only ingredient needed for the final result, it's an ingenious way to reuse something that otherwise would go completely to waste. It's ideas like this that electricity production could, one day, be possible without creating harmful pollutants. Number 3 Tidal Stream Turbine Scientists have tried various different methods for harnessing wave power to generate electricity, but a recent design has taken capabilities to a whole new level. The first Tidal Stream Turbine, also known as an SR2000 turbine, went into operation near the Scottish island of Orkney in 2017. Within the first year, it had hit some impressive targets, having generated 3 gigawatt hours of electricity, which is enough to power 830 homes, and was more renewably sourced power than Scotland had managed to produce from wave and tidal processes in the previous 12 years. Beyond being more efficient at generating power from the tide than any other option, this turbine has been specifically designed to be easily accessible and repairable. It could well spell the end of large, costly, and inefficient tidal generators and open up a new avenue of green power generation for coastal regions around the world. Number 2. Biomimetic Tree One of the complaints about many of the machines that produce renewable energy, such as wind turbines, are their unsightly appearances, often visible for miles around and having a massive effect on landscapes. A new design, though, has changed that, as it hides all of the equipment within something that looks far more natural. It's called a biomimetic tree and produces energy when the artificial leaves flutter in the wind. The idea was stumbled upon while researchers were looking at the effect of wind on a tree's branches, and the potential for energy production is extraordinary. With one cottonwood tree, for example, it's estimated that a 10 mile per hour breeze blowing across its 500,000 leaves would be enough to generate 80 watts of energy simply from the leaf motion. If just half of this could be harnessed, it would be enough to power small appliances around the home. If every home in the world had one of these trees, our reliance on the national grid would be significantly reduced. The technology is, however, in its early stages and far from being economically viable. But it's an indication of what energy-producing machines could look like in the future. Number 1. Thermal Resonator The holy grail of energy production would be to create electricity from thin air and that's very close to what a thermal resonator is able to do. 
It takes advantage of constantly changing temperatures in the environment around us, and a principle whereby a difference in temperature between one end of the device and the other end can lead to the production of electricity. The science behind how this works is complicated, so it's no surprise this prototype was developed at MIT. The developer said it was 300% more efficient than the next best alternative, but still, the amount of power we're talking about is minimal. Right now, the intent is that devices like this could be used to sustain low-powered environmental sensors or communication systems. But as technology develops, it could become far more useful than that.